Susan and I are both members of the International Online Art Collective. Uh, we started this. When did we start this? Um, my memory is that um, from what somebody else said was about two years ago, right? Uh, well, two and a half years ago before COVID, like a, right around the time, a right. little bit before the time the, the pandemic started. That's what I have in my head that somebody else said. We are, yeah. for one, for anybody watching, uh, we are a group of, I believe, 15 artists now um, mm -hmm. from all over the world, all different types of art. Um, and um, we hope to, one of these days, have shows in real life together. Uh, but yeah. right now, everything's been virtual. Um, there's Ina, one of the members, just popped on. Um, but yeah, um, so let's see, I have my little notes handy. Yeah, I, I have my notes here in front of me too. I think we were gonna, um, uh, introduce, ourselves. Uh, introduce ourselves, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll go first since I guess I'm on top on our screen. Um, <laughs> I, I am Greta Olivas, I'm an abstract artist in Austin, Texas. Um, I paint um, abstract uh, pieces of work that represent energy. Uh, to me, it feels like energy just comes through me and shows up on the canvas is the best way for me to explain it. Uh, I have three different series. Uh, one's my cosmos. Um, I usually describe it as it looks like outer space, but to me, it's about our place within the universe. Um, my ruin series tells stories about our journey and my ancestral series that is uh, messages that we get from past ones or the earth or just messages that come to me. So that briefly is me. So Susan. So i um I am an artist uh, living in Oregon, and I have been making art for many years. I'm an older woman, and I just featured some of my art on the International uh, Collective Art um, Instagram page and then on the Facebook page. I have about six series that I've done over my lifetime, but and I've also worked in maybe nine different forms on and off. Currently, I am working in uh, digital and video art. Uh, that started in about 2016. I started a series that was about internal bad messages about women and aging, and that has transitioned over time to be a huge body of work that I continue to make that uses my face and then layers of work. It's called Portrait of a Woman. And you can see a lot of those on my website and I post them here on Instagram. And during the pandemic, I started using video a lot, made a movie. And I have another page called More Susan Detroit Art, where I post movies and do reels and do my other landscape and nature related things. So that's 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 good for me yeah yeah well your work is fascinating to me i really love it um it's thought provoking it's um i love your image with the layers of nature and colors and stuff with it it's just powerful to me so thank yeah. you very much yeah. I do like doing it and I love being connected to the group and to artists like yourself. And I have recently, if people look at our pages, I've recently been um, mixed up doing side by side pieces because I feel like the energy of another artist, their work next to what I'm doing, it just feels like a whole another level. And um, I've done that. I think two or three times with your work and I did one today and it gives each of us an opportunity to exp it shows an expression of our work that that 
expands it a little bit. And yeah. a lot of the, what you do in, in working with the natural world and the cosmos kind of thing is feels connected to my work. Um, it may not look like it right away, but if you, I think if you, if a person were to look at it side by side over a period of time, they would feel yeah. perhaps what I feel. Yeah, I think um, it, to me, it's like it continues a conversation or something. Um, yeah. because they relate to each other. Um, and uh, it's interesting. It's interesting so uh, how all of us in the group, um, we can look at something and portray it in totally different ways, which is fascinating. Yes. Um, and I love yeah. that. I love that. And, and if people may or may not know that we have, as a group, have done a few things. We've ha we have some videos that we did, that we put together as a group, and we did a show called, was it Red? A show based on Red? In the beginning, we did several collections of our work, and we have projects that we can't tell you about yet. <laughs> <laughs> will be emerging in the works. Uh, yeah, in the works and more to be revealed, I believe in tw later in 2022 little s ideas and uh, I believe in 2023 okay. we will be done. Yes, with the project, which is I've told that to some of my friends they're like, "Oh my god, you're doing it for 2 years." I said <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we are. We yeah. are. We have something that we will reveal in two years, which is, I think that's the longest collaboration I've ever had. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we do yeah. Looks stuff. like we're getting some. Oh, okay. We have um, some comments here from some other members from International Art Collective. Um, oh. The show we did was the Nature Exhibit. Thank you. Um, and then uh, there's a Valentine's Day video and past the canvas introduction video we did. Oh. Um, yeah. Then yeah. there's also the, the official introduction uh, video that we did um, last year, I think. Um, and all those are on our Instagram page and then also on our YouTube channel. I think there's a link to it from there. Um, yeah. let's see, what else are we gonna, let's see. Um, well, let's see. What are my, we, um, go ahead. Um, I have not been doing much in the studio lately. Um, I've been kind of, I don't know, hibernation mode. Um, just being January, new year. Um, but I think it's, a. Uh, it feels like a moment that I'm just gathering up information to get ready to create again. Um, and I know that the creative spark doesn't last. It's not a constant thing. It's an up and down for me anyway. Um, I have lots of things started and nothing finished. <laughs> but um, I think my goal is to try and um work on some more videos to put on my youtube and then uh i am trying to learn about nfts which sometimes i'm really for it sometimes i'm like mm -hmm. i don't know that i want to do this sometimes it's way over my head <laughs> so i'm still wrapping my brain around that so that's what i'm up to lately well i would say similar i would say really similar thought process about NFTs, I I am beginning to somewhat understand how it works, and I've decided to follow some people on Twitter and listen to some people talk, and I see that um, another bigger group, the Art Next Level, Sergio Gomez has a this week he has some videos about NFTs, and I haven't watched all of them, but I'm. 
I'm, I'm kind of on the fence, but slightly leaning towards that I'll do it. But I'm definitely sort of in the middle right now. Yeah. Absorbing and thinking and watching for the scary parts that might <laughs> make me not want to do it. Yeah. And then, but there's also the kind of exciting part. So uh, I think in 2022, I'm, I'm going to be doing that. I recently went through um, a kind of, uh, I went kind of, it's not right. A daunting period of time where I had a number of rejections. I've been writing grants and um, that, that uh, I paused quite a bit after the end of December into the month of January and kind of took a step back. And um, part of what I decided, what I decided was that I wanted to see myself in a bigger context as a, and uh, present myself in a way that was more about everything that I've done and not all, not limiting myself to the one or two series that I'm doing. So I'm readjusting and rethinking and starting to take some steps forward. I'm um, looked back at a, a lot of work that I've done, but I also, and I also have been asked locally to show some hard copy work and some video work. Nice. So I, I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going, I just sent some videos that I created during the pandemic to um, a group that if they pick mine, it's, uh, it's called the Joy and Grief Project. And they're going to show imagery without sound, which is, I'd like to have sound, but without sound, they're going to show moving and still images uh, downtown here cool. uh, in a, on a big screen somehow. And I'm hoping one or more of my videos will be part of that. And uh, I, I could, I can always talk more. I am a talker, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably, and I'll do some experimenting. I love to experiment, and uh, I have a couple apps that I'm. I took a class in slow shutter. That's, yeah. If yeah. if anybody's interesting in digital stuff you must follow Susan because the apps she uses, um, half the time, well, it's layering of many things that you do on many apps, but mm -hmm. it's genius. Um, I've used some of the apps, but I haven't used anything to that extent. So it's really fascinating and some really cool stuff. Thank um, you for saying that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I feel similarly about the expansive use of color that you um that happens for you oh, i'm getting notices um yeah. <laughs> I, I love the feeling of um a sort of micro macro kind of feel of the way that your pieces you can be back feel like a back sort of viewpoint but also you can feel drawn in at the same time and Thank i you. enjoy that i enjoy that sort of meditative I think your work in a lot of ways has a meditative feel to it. Uh, and it does. Um, yeah. And I'm sh sure that's why I like to pair it because it feels like you're <laughs> it, going inside and then also stepping back. And yeah. I think that's, um, I think that's a really great skill as an artist because not everybody's Thank work does that. You're Thank one. you. Yeah. I guess that's why I say it's, about our place in the universe. You can see a little bit, I guess this painting back here, it's an older piece. I was tempted, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it because for some reason I still have it and I thought it would be gone by now, but I think it hasn't found its owner yet. But I have some samples here. Um, this is one of my Cosmos nice. Um And um, I work in acrylic, very watered down. Um, I tell people it has taught me a lot of patience and letting go of control uh, when I started doing this hmm. series because it's very watered down. I can't control exactly what's going to happen to it. 
And so I just have to trust and let go. And uh, that's when the magic happens. And I think that's so much about life too. It's like I tell people I get life lessons from creating art. And I think we all do. I think that's part of the creati creative process. Um, but yeah, to me, these are, this one's triumph. Um, and um, yeah. To me, it is about our, our place in the universe, not so much just outer space. Um, here's another one of mine. This is one of my Bruin series. Uh, it has collage in it. Let me step back so you can see it a little bit better. Um, this one is called Moving Beyond Fear. Um, it's always interesting how I name these things. I don't have a name in um, mind when I create them. I just create it and then there's a feeling that go that's attached to it. I can feel it. And so I have to sit there for a while sometimes and put it, that feeling into words. Or sometimes I just know right away, oh, well, that's what this is. Um, but it's usually translating that feeling, emotion, story, or whatever into words to give it a title. Um, and then I have, I have my third series. Well, I have one that's kind of started here. I don't have small ones of it for some reason. Uh, the ancestral series. Actually, I'm not going to grab that one. But. Um, <laughs> That one's a little bit more difficult for me to create. Um, I have very few of them. It's probably a little bit way more abstract than these others. Um, and it's like I have to feel it more in order for them to come. Hmm. So, um, yeah, and I, for some reason, they all tend to be kind of bigger. I haven't created smaller ones of that, and I don't know why. Hmm. Maybe they're not supposed to be small. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you have any stuff to show us? I do. <laughs> I'm going to reach down just for a moment. I thought I would uh, show the piece that you used for the invite, which I is love that part one. of the port portrait of a, it's actually, this is a tiny uh, reproduction. All, all of this series is created digitally. And then if, um, unless I do NFTs, in order for a person to own one, I make, oh, here's, I'm getting notice from Karen. Um, I, I have to make a canvas, like a mm -hmm. human backed piece that is a reproduction using that digital. And this one is in a sub-series called Leaving, which I use leaves to uh layer in with my face i love it i love it this one was has been when i was doing a lot of shows before COVID. this one was very uh well liked there were uh it showed in a number of places as a hard copy and as a digital image in the i'm active in the mobile arts community, which is an international community of people that use mobile devices, iPads, and um, and iPhones to create art, um, uh, connected to a giant website called the App Whisperer in the United Kingdom. And uh, I'm, I occasionally and happily am featured in a showcase that happens. And I'll show you one other piece that's from that series that I think uh, it's, I know I'm going out of camera, but here we go. Um, this is a piece that um, I created early in the series. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I love those. So I'll this one, yeah. I used a number of photographic um, images, my face, photograph of this flower Th this piece with the flower and the 
I don't know if you can see that girl's face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Um, that, that, um, that girl and that flower are an, another hard copy piece of art that I made as a, it's kind of a personal piece. And um, I combined it with my self-portrait. And then, of course, can make it in, in this way. So th that's... Oh, something dropped sorry went out of camera i'll show one more a big one. Oh, nice Here's nice close up of that yeah and this is from the leaving series also as you That's can see beautiful some leaves and i integrate my much like you we that's how we're a lot of like my love of the natural world um with what I create. I, I bicycle, I walk, I hike, I have a garden and I, um, record different pieces of nature such as, the, as this, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, um, use them in the digital work. And, oh, there's this one behind me. This one's, uh, that's got a, can you see that? At yeah. All? yeah. Okay. That's beautiful. You can see the, um, this is a cosmos flower. Okay. Yeah. There's my face there. Yeah. Yeah. She's. I think she's called something like um, planet or alien planetary or something like that. I can't remember the name right now. <laughs> and, and I feel similarly to you in terms of naming things. Sometimes you know, just like that, it'll come to me. And then sometimes I have to just, I have to wait mm -hmm. for it to come forward to tell me what the name is and what it's about that kind yeah, of thing yeah yeah so, I, I usually i have a list of words and phrases that would make good painting oh. um and a lot of times i'll go back to those and look and see okay do any of these fit um and sometimes mm -hmm. they do or sometimes those might guide me to what the name's gonna be um so it helps, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's a word in a song or in a book or something I hear that's like, oh, that would make a good painting name. And it's usually something that really hits me. Yeah. That um, I'm like, I have to save that. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see, what else did we put on here? Well, we may have covered I about it. <laughs> I think we like future and what we're doing now and. Oh, I wanted to say one other thing that uh, a decision I just made in the last few weeks is that I, um, I'm, I'm going to start, I have been doing this on and off through COVID, but I haven't talked about it in the public way so much, is that I'm going to start accepting one-on-one -on -one clients. I uh, do some, I do art consulting and teaching and uh, eventually I'll have more words about that, but basically it's gonna be um, individualized learning to teach you anything that I know, which would, could be, um, I've done, gal you know, I've been an artist for 50 years, gallery management, how to, how to make your art career go along, make goal setting, nah. and, but, but also any of the techniques that I have used in my forms like a transfer printing, which you all have seen that video, the um, solvent transfer, and how to use your iPhone and your iPad. Teach, I'm going to teach what I know. I'm, I'm not going to have a curriculum. It's going to be a, on a one, one by one basis. People nice, know. nice. I'll work on Zoom or, yeah, Zoom or some kind of. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, yeah, because sometimes, like, I usually can figure, I usually figure it out on my own, but sometimes it's just so complicated, and um, I, it usually involves having to watch a lot of tutorials to figure out how to do things, and if you don't do it all the time, you forget, and so mm -hmm. that would be great, because... You can have individual guidance and walk through it. So yeah, that'll be. Yeah. I I I do well one on one. I do. I like to do it one on one. I like to um, 
what's the word? Uh, well, individualized or, you know, be specific and particular to whoever wants it and figure out where they are and where they want to go. And I mean, yeah. with anything that you learn, I think that's important yeah. to set up where you are and decide where you want to go. And then how do you get from mm -hmm. there to there? Well, so just being digital art and enough, you know, you do some video, but then also just the digital art and the layering with NFTs and everything coming up, that'd be a great way to learn how to do some of the images to yeah. sort of things. So, because yeah. yeah. it's all digital. So, yes, there's yeah. a lot of, lot of very popular di di digital is becoming more and more part of our art world and I would have never I would have never said that this is where I was gonna go if you had talked to me like a number of years ago I was doing like you know photographs and I was an analog yeah. photographer for a lot of years very different world but I do like it I do like it yeah and uh, so, do you do uh, workshops and teaching? I, I think I remember that you... Um, I have. I haven't done it since COVID. I think the last one I did was in 2019. Um, and um, I just kind of put that on hold. Actually, mm -hmm. I take that back. On, in 2020, I did one online uh, with one of the universities here. It was one of the... Um, they were trying to find things for students to do because everybody was on lockdown and uh, they contacted me to see if I'd be interested. So I put together a little painting workshop to, uh, and we did it on zoom and uh, oh, yeah. fun. that was my first try at doing it uh, that way. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. I never thought I'd be interested in teaching, but then uh, and I've taught workshops, my workshop for a number of years. I've done it, I think it's been like eight years or something. Um, and I really love it. And I, it surprised me. I did it as a suggestion from a friend. And uh, I was like, oh, I'm not a teacher. I can't do it. But I really loved it. And I learned something learn stuff about myself and explaining it. I mean, it's just exciting. It's exciting to see what people do. Um, so I don't know. I may decide to do that again. Um, so far, like right now, I'm learning a lot of business type stuff. I'm uh, have a, oh, I'm yeah. a coaching program. So I'm getting lots of ideas. But um, I'm trying to figure out what really feels right and where I want to go yeah from here so um I know that painting is huge as part of that um but then also sharing it and getting other people to do it is super exciting um because I learned so much from my art uh-oh I'm losing you yeah uh-oh lost you well i can hear you i think there you are uh, something happened with, something happened with the video feed i got a reminder in um oh, okay. uh, a time reminder and it made my uh camera go out and i don't know oh. how i i keep pressing on the camera to come back and it doesn't do anything yeah. so maybe that's maybe telling you I'm sad. <laughs> because I did. <laughs> anyway. I would say that it's time to <laughs> And uh, I think, I know that you are planning on doing more of these with other members yes. of our group, International Online Art Collective. And yeah. I may do some of these too. Um, I don't mind doing lives. Uh, I think it's fun. I started doing lives during the pandemic because I thought, why not? And it's not as scary as it seems. Um, so uh, anyway, so that'll be fun. So everyone stay tuned for more of these with other members of International Online yep. Collective. 
Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do one next with uh, Christy from the awesome. Netherlands. Awesome. Yes, you'll get to see everywhere where we're from. Around the world. <laughs> and it'll be interesting to see the different conversations with the different members. Yeah. Um, I, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, Thanks. A lot. Sorry for the camera thing. I'm like, I have no idea how to make that, that go. <laughs> well, it's imperfect, but that's okay. So perfectly it, imperfect. <laughs> yeah, yes. So thank you. Uh, yeah. I will make sure I get this posted here in a bit. And okay. I'll put, there'll be links to Susan and to me, depending on who you follow. I will also um, probably tag in the comments, International Online Art Collective. Yeah. In case anybody is not following that already, you should. So okay. anyway. It was fun. Talk to everyone later. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.